Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. I'm new here on YouTube. I've decided to start my own channel where I talk about books that I've read and my thoughts about them and joining the whole booktuber community here on YouTube. I wanted to make a quick video on here so that way I can introduce myself to you guys on YouTube and you guys can get to know me a little bit better. Like I said, my name is Rincy. I'm 25 and obviously I love reading. My favorite book of all time is To Kill a Mockingbird. I read this my freshman year of high school and I've loved it basically ever since. As you can tell this version is a little bit beat up because I try to reread this every single year, usually around the time of Banned Books Week. Uh, and then just to remind myself of how much I love this book and I always love it a little bit more each year and each time that I read it. One of the best books that I read in 2011 was OK For Now by Gary D. Schmidt. Uh, this was a really moving book. I wasn't expecting that much out of this because it was a book that I'd heard a little bit about, but I mainly just picked it up because Borders was going out of business and this one just looked really interesting and since it was on sale I figured I would give it a chance and I ended up loving it a whole lot. Since I'm new to this, I don't know everything that I'll be doing here on this YouTube channel. I have a couple of ideas based on the other YouTube channels that I've watched here. One of the things that you can obviously expect are book reviews. I'll try to post at least one per week, although it will depend on how fast I can read the books and what I think about them and how much I have to say. If I don't have a lot to say, then obviously I won't post a video about it because it'll just be a waste of everyone's time. One of the things I won't be doing that other booktubers do is posting a sort of TBR each month of the books that they want to read each month or the books that they're going to try to get accomplished or get through. I won't do that just because I don't like sticking to a strict schedule. Usually what I do is just when I finish a book, I'll see if I want to read something similar or something completely the opposite. It very much depends on how books end and how I feel about a book before choosing the next one. So I never want to stick to a strict schedule, although I probably will be partaking in some challenges over the year just to keep things fun and interesting. Thanks so much for watching my video. I'll leave links in the description to my Goodreads so you guys can follow me on there. I'm also on Twitter and Tumblr so you guys can check those out. Feel free to subscribe to my channel obviously and I'll be posting more videos in the days to come. Thanks!